Hello there, I'm Chowclips and today we're drawing a small dungeon map. This is a recording of a Twitch stream that I did, and I thought it wouldn't be that helpful to throw up the whole stream onto the YouTube channel, so I'm talking to you post-edit. I feel really inspired by fellow YouTube RPG artists Map Crow and JP Covert, and thought I'd give making a dungeon a shot, with some helpful generator books. I'm primarily using home printed copies of Maze Rats and the Perilous Tables, which are just the tables from the Perilous Wilds book. Links to all of that will be in the description below. And just in case you're wondering where to get a copy of Maze Rats with the little rat with the Zweihander on it, that's something I drew on my own copy. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. First, I rolled on the dungeon themes in the Perilous Tables and came up with Protection and Dominance. It immediately made me think of something being guarded, so I rolled up on what kind of magic is being used and I got Hypnotism. The resulting dungeon strayed quite far from these themes, but I think that's okay. It gave me a starting point and my imagination went from there. I decided to start my design abstractly. I find that if I just start drawing details, my dungeons don't always come out that cohesive or strong in terms of their design even if they do turn out looking good. I thought an obelisk might be an interesting thing to guard, so I started with that. I started toying around with the idea of a lock and key mechanic. I recently read an article on cyclic dungeon generation by Sersa Victory, which outlines a few methods of including recursive cyclic loops in dungeons, and I thought the two keys one sounded fun, so why not? So the idea is that in order to get to the obelisk, you require two keys, one from the left path and one from the right path. I decided that the right one would be filled with traps, so I started rolling for trap effects and triggers and I got adhesive and proximity. I decided that the walls are alive and they will try to devour the players. The next trap I rolled up was poison gas and pull, so I decided that the key was stuck and by removing it, the room fills with toxic gas and you'd have to go back through the devouring walls. I'm always a fan of making backtracking interesting, and this seemed like a neat way to do that. Okay, that's the right hand key done. I then decided to make the door to an obelisk a giant hit cause of course I did. You need a key for each eye and you can see through the door into the obelisk room through the third glass eye. For the left hand key, I decided to roll a creature since I wanted some combat. I got the result of a dog or fox or wolf from the perilous wild and as for magic, warding or binding. I decided to go with a psychic wolf fox thing but since it turns out I can't draw them without reference and I was too lazy to get reference, it just turned into a giant rat. Fine by me. I put a key into its third eye. Yeah, it has a third eye, it seemed to fit the theme. The idea is that by removing the key, it will remove the rat's powers or shrink it down or something. I haven't fully figured it out. With the planning done, I started sketching out the room. It may look like I was just winging it, but I was actually using paper with very faded isometric dots. It just doesn't show up very well on video. When you're sketching out isometric drawings, you want to size and rotate your elements for maximum visual interest, so I went very rough and made constant changes. I also made a few adjustments to the plan at this stage, mainly that the right hand key is stuck in an eye, which again is on theme. I put some chemicals and stuff around the room, made it look like an alchemist lab, and in the left hand layer of the giant rat, I put a skull and bones. Gotta have a skull and bones. And that's basically it for the sketching phase. Finally, inking. Not much to say here other than that inking is extremely relaxing. I've been in a bit of a depressed mood recently, and this honestly helped me lift my spirits a bit. I don't know, just the repetitive nature of it. Very meditative. I mainly used the Sakura Pigma Micron, I believe it was a 0.1. I also used a felt brush pen to fill in the details and thicken in the lines at the end. Honestly, just go check out Map Pro's videos on isometric drawing and inking. They are much better than any explanation I could give, and they are also how I learned to do isometric drawing in the first place.
and it's done! I took a photo of the drawing and unfortunately this part was not recorded, but I essentially just adjusted the levels in Clip Studio Paint, then I applied some half tones. I also made a few minor edits, and there we go. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Map drawing is a recent hobby of mine and I intend to give each room a proper key and description. I have a bunch of ideas like the little rat in the entrance being connected to the giant rat, or the potions and tomes in the room foreshadowing the poison gas, but that's for later I think. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it, please hit like and subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. But honestly, the thing that means the most to me is if you could comment. I really enjoy interacting with the people who watch my videos, and I'm always looking for new topics or things to cover. I currently make solo RPG playthroughs, but I would like to branch out into more theory, as well as more TTRPG stuff in general. So yeah, please let me know what you think, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.